Hey, welcome to Words of Wisdom, where we interview our guest lecturers here at the Word of Life Bible Institute. And this week, we are here with Dr. Ray Pritchard. All right, so five years ago, this is not one of my questions, at least here, but you were my professor. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Yeah. You taught the book of Daniel, yeah. which was awesome. And one of the things I really appreciated about you was your ability to be able to take something that's so complex and simplify it. I mean, how long have you been teaching? Well, I started teaching at the Bible Institute up in New York in 1980, a long time ago. Jack Wordson brought me up and taught the book of Hebrews. And then in the 90s, I came down here to Florida in one of the very first years and taught the book of Judges. Mm -hmm. And then starting in about 2001, and since then, I've taught Galatians up in New York and then Daniel and James down here in Florida. That's awesome. Do you have a favorite book? Um, probably Daniel. Okay. Well, you know, I like the stories, the visions, the dreams. Uh, you know, I like to wander around and recreate and tell the story. Daniel has a lot of that in it, uh -huh. you know. So of all those books, probably personally, I don't know. The students here are going to hear me do James and Daniel. My impression is, I could be wrong, my impression is the students usually like James more than they like Daniel, because James is very practical. The practicality. But from the teaching point of view, I mean, come on, we've got, you know, we've got the king who goes crazy and the, the three Hebrew children and the handwriting on the wall. I love those stories. Mm -hmm. Tell us about your first year in college. Where did you go? What was that experience like? Well, right out of high school, uh, you know, my, my hero growing up was Walter Cronkite of CBS News. And... He was a great TV journalist. That's what I wanted to be growing up. I wanted to be in TV journalism. And at that time, one of the great, and I think still today, one of the great journalism schools in America was at the University of Missouri. So coming right out of high school, growing up in Alabama, I set off to the University of Missouri just to do my undergraduate work there, spent a year there, and realized somewhere in that year, I realized and you never know how this exactly happens, Jay. God said, no, I have other plans for you. Hmm. So I spent one year in Columbia, Missouri and grew a lot. And um, that was a year of finding out that I didn't know as much about my future as I thought I did. Hmm. And the next year transferred to Tennessee Temple College. It's now a university in Chattanooga, Tennessee and mm -hmm. finished my college work there. How did you know and when did you know you were called to full-time ministry? Hmm. Well, I like to tell people that the will of God is more like a sunrise than a sunburst. Hmm. A lot of people want quick answers from God, but how does, a, how does a sunrise come up? It comes up very slowly over the horizon. And if you're there an hour before sunrise, you may think nothing's gonna happen. Then all of a sudden the sky begins to get lighter and then the first rays of sun and then the sun so slowly comes up. I think that's the way most of us discover the will of God. Mm. We think, I want the sunburst. Uh, you know, one day I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hear the knock at the door. I'm going to open the door. And there's going to be a chorus of angels saying, <laughs> Ray, preach, Ray, preach, Ray, preach. It's not usually how it happens. Mm -hmm. That for me, I had a sense of God's call when I was 17 years old. And I never really wrestled with it, but I wasn't sure about it. It took a few years for the Lord to clarify both in my heart and through the counsel of some wise friends, this is the direction I should go. Briefly, can you give us a theme of the book of James? You're teaching James this week. So what's the main theme? Keep it real. Hmm. Keep it real. You know, he says over and over again. In fact, we were looking at one of those passages today. Over and over again, he says, be not deceived. Be not, that is, don't play games. Don't trick yourself. Mm. Keep it real. Get it real. Uh, don't play games with the Lord and don't play games with the people of the world. The world is looking for reality. Mm -hmm. The world is looking not for somebody who just talks a big religious game, but uh, the world is looking for spiritual reality. And James is saying, 
get your roots down deep and show them the reality that Jesus Christ has made in your life and show it in the way you live. Hmm. Which is such a great book for this generation yeah. because this is a generation that's all about being real. That's right. That's right. So, so I mean, I can't think of a better book for these young people to be studying right out of the gate. Keep it real. Book of James. If you enjoyed this video, take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe.